today I'm presenting you Vertica Data Warehouse and ML platform, where a lot of data-driven companies in the world run on Vertica. So Vertica is very common in day-to-day -day life, where a lot of applications, a lot of services utilize Vertica and they give the power pack performance. So if you look at these examples, right from Philips, Trade Desk, Uber, Guess, HP, Intuit, Climate Corporation, Cyberit. So all of them have been using Vertica for some of the other very interesting use cases. So if you look at Philips, they use for IoT analytics, Trade Desk, which is one of the largest ad tech analytics platform in the world. They use for the entire ad tech analytics. And we have retail companies, like guess using for customer analytics platform. Uber is using for the enterprise data warehouse and ride sharing patterns. Similarly, we have clickstream analytics like Wayfair and wearable platforms like Sunto and Auckland Transport, where they do route optimization. G2 is one of the popular pay-to-pay -pay, uh, survey forum. So they have conducted uh, surveys recently in which they have listed Vertica as one of the leaders in the top 10 data warehouse category. So they keep doing it for uh, winter, spring, summer, across different cycles. So I'm happy that every survey, whatever they do, they have been rating Vertica as very high. Vertica is also recognized by some of the leading market research firms. So we have called the Giga Ohm where the Giga Ohm has highlighted Vertica as a leader. Among, you can also see there are some other players over here, but they have highlighted Vertica as one of the leaders. What is Vertica? Vertica is one of the leading analytics data warehouse platform, so which is built for uh, complexity and scale of the large amounts of data. So it is a combination of an SQL data warehouse analytics and ML platform and query engine. So Vertica is not only leveraged as a just of storing, loading and storing data, but it also uses analytics and ML platform, which comes natively as part of the product where you can create, train and deploy advanced analytics and do a lot of machine learning models. And Vertica query engine is one of the fastest query engines in the world where irrespective of the number of queries you have, you get super fast analytics. Vertica drives value with speed, scale, flexibility, and control, thus giving a lot of independence to the customers. So this slide talks about a different fulcrum where you can analyze in multi-clouds or data lakes, and you can create operational machine learning at scale you can have performance and control to the maximum. And also the irrespective of the underlying infrastructure, whether you have cloud on-prem or hybrid. So it is very agnostic and it can be compatible with all the platforms. And the best part is there is the forecastable transparent pricing is given to the customers so that they do not get any sort of surprises like overages or overbills. So most of the customers have been doing data warehouse and data lake projects uh, over the last decade. And still there have been a lot of persisting issues and some of the challenges which data lakes and data warehouses together are not able to address. So by this, there are a lot of analysts or data scientists who spend a lot of time in preparation of data, collating the data, training the models, and trying to create a lot of algorithms in getting a meaningful insights. So we have created something very unique and the idea was to establish a common goal and engine which will intersect these two platforms. So Vertica has come up with a concept called unified analytics platform where the data resides in a Hadoop or data resides in a structured data warehouse or any third party platforms. So it can directly read through a SQL connectors and actually the a lot of time is minimized by not pushing the data into a data warehouse and a lot of preparation or cleansing of data. All the cycles are eliminated. This is a very 
simple architecture which talks about uh, vertical ecosystem so all you see in blue are the native features which come along with vertica so it has got vertica comes with geospatial real time text analytics functions it has also got time series pattern matching machine learning or regression so there are close to 650 algorithms which come natively along with vertica and we the output of the vertica is in the form of ros format and any other sources data sources like formats like json csv s3 parquet or orc so all these are supported by vertica if you are an existing program where you have already uh, written in r java c++ so the interface is built where you can call out these functions and using with simple sql vertica sql functions you can use your existing codes so this gives an advantage to a lot of uh, analysts or uh, data scientist community by instead of redoing things again they can carry forward the work what they have done in other open source platforms or enterprise programming languages so if you look at the left side you will have a spark which is a data transformation so we have a native connector with spark similarly we have native connectors with other messaging and etl platforms like kafka informatica and Retunity. and so we vertica has also got connectors with 40 to 45 bi tools some of the examples are mentioned here like click tableau and power bi so where you can create uh, from multiple oltp systems you can create your own data marts and uh, all your metadata summarized data raw data so that buckets can be created into data marts and analyzed very easily so whether it is a cloud platform or whether it is a hybrid platform so vertica is supported by all the platforms you can look here examples like aws azure google similarly hadoop dell pure storage so we are tied up with all these architecture programs vertica is an architecture which is mainly resonates uh, with the word called performance uh, because the native uh, robust design um, vertica has an edge compared to other competitors or data warehousing platforms in the market so it comes with mpp massively parallel processing where you can run across thousands of queries parallelly and giving that fast experience to the users and it is a columnar storage database so by this gives an advantage of reading only the necessary information which needs to be analyzed and the data is highly compressed almost to 90 percent thereby reducing the costly ioi optimized projections it helps in storing the data in the formats where which is frequently run for the faster analytics and the query performance is very fast earlier vertica used to be as a part of the enterprise mode but a couple of years back we have come up with an architecture called eon mode so where in the enterprise mode every compute node has a dedicated local storage and where the customers used to run uniform workloads and there used to be uh, some fixed objectives and expectations by running this but the flexibility with eon mode so this architecture uh, can give a lot of uh, flexibility to customers where they can run it physically separates the compute node and the object storage and this gives a very dynamic environment where you can work workload multiple uh, platforms and multiple workloads and scale your compute resources accordingly with a common shared storage platform this is some of the example of an eon mode uh, where uh, it says some of the uh, segregation has done where uh, one sort of some nodes are running exclusively for etls some are running for dashboards and some of our reports and some of our analytics and machine learning now the next topic is vertica accelerator which is vertica as a service so it is the same vertica which runs on aws uh, with complete automation administration and management again you get a, a sql data warehouse analytics and ml platform and a query engine so how does it work so when vertica runs on AWS customer management plane, 
So where there is a cross linking of the accounts happen during the onboarding process and whatever the management plate servers you have already created, so it integrates with AWS and with the same policies and uh, authentications, customers can log into the Vertica account and use on a hourly billing platform. Vertica Accelerator. So these are the highlights of the Vertica Accelerator. You, the, we believe in elasticity. So you can choose from any compute shape from 2x to 16x and uh, you can spin up the instances and downsize the instances depending upon the rates. And you can also decide how many hours in a day you want to run the instance on top of your AWS account. And it's a proven MPP architecture. So the concurrency is automatically taken care very well. And it comes with a resi highly resilient platform because there is uh, availability zone failure and there is no single point of failure. And you can control your own AWS account and you with the contract, what you are negotiated with AWS, you can continue to do the same. And there is no plan to take down times or up time accordingly for the Vertica Accelerator like you do for regular databases. So it runs on auto scaling and auto scheduling and uh, the backups are automatic and the upgrades are also automatic. This is one of the uh, benchmark study which has been done one of, one of the uh, third party market research firms uh, where they have uh, differentiated with a small use case, test use case of 250 terabytes of data running across 10 concurrency, 30 and 60 situations. And in these all these three scenarios, uh, Vertica, the price versus performance was the was the best compared to this. So this is gives an advantage uh, for a lot of customers in uh, saving their lot of costs. Vertica also support, supports the Kubernetes architecture. So uh, Vertica was deployed very much in the monolithic application space, but now with Kubernetes and containers, uh, you can create Vertica pods and this architecture is very much supported within Vertica, all the versions. You might have developed your codes on R, Python, Spark and TensorFlow. So you can just get these codes and run it across on-prem hybrid or cloud, your choice. And whether it is TensorFlow, Python, Apache, Spark or R, so it is a more, Vertica can support and it is the most powerful and scalable analytics platform. Simple SQL execution. So SQL is a language which is known by uh, most of them database admins. So it's very easy to use irrespective of the data warehouse platform or databases you currently run in an environment. So with simple SQL commands, you can create, train and deploy machine learning models. So these are some of the examples which I mentioned. Vertica covers the entire end-to-end -end machine learning process. So the entire machine learning process or data science right from business understanding to the deployment and it supports all the open source platforms. So what is a Vertica advantage? So, and uh, these are some of the values which are delivered with Vertica in terms of uh, differentiation for performance, competitive differentiation, advanced analytics, profitability time to market, licensing flexibility and customer success. Uh, we have so many customers uh, running Vertica globally on large amount of data and they have been getting very extremely very good performance with Vertica. So these are some of the financial services use cases uh, like fraud detection and governance, risk and portfolio management, regulatory compliance, user behavior and customer experience. So it is mandatory that most lot, there have been a lot of compliance has to be reported and a lot of reports have to be shared for some of the regulatory organizations like SEBI and RBI. So it is very important uh, to have a strong data platform, which will uh, give you a lot of anomalies at the same time, help you in fraud detections and try to understand the user customer behavior, behaviors. So we have designed our product in such a way and most of the leading banks in the world have been using uh, for some of these uh, financial use cases, like identifying fraudulent activity or uh, complete compliance management, and also the experience management or loyalty of customers. These are some of the examples of uh, our Vertica customers. Uh, you will have a mix of a lot of international and India logos.
So we cater across all the verticals, as I showed in the first slide, right from banking, financial services, insurance, advertising, telcos, trading. Thank you very much. Uh, by this, I come to the end of my presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.